Avatar The Last Airbender is one of my favorite cartoons, with its interesting characters and plot. It's a show that held my interest as a child, and still holds up as a young adult. I was planning on doing a review of the show, but there are so many of those out there, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a series on the cultures of the different nations, starting with the Air Nomads. So let's get started! The Air Nomads were the first people to begin using the power of bending, as well as the only culture where everyone was a bender. They were a peaceful group and had four different temples set up throughout the world. The nomads were led by a council of elders that consisted of senior monks and nuns of that temple, rather than the royalty and chiefs of other nations. In fact, two of the temples were run and for females, while the other two were run and for males. This explains why in flashbacks of Aang's childhood, we see no girls, only boys. Furthermore, the nomads do not practice family like the other nations do. Every child is raised in their temple by everyone, rather than just raised by their parents. They believe it takes a village. This also explains why we never see or hear anything about Aang's parents. The air nomads are also vegetarians, believing that all life is precious and should be protected. Air nomads are very spiritual and use their bending to assist their life rather than as a form of combat. When a child becomes a master of airbending, they receive the arrow tattoos. These arrows represent the arrows on a sky bison. The tattoos follow the chi paths on a person, which is why they glow when Aang goes into the avatar state. The air nomads were wiped out by the Fire Nation during Sozin's comment, leaving only Aang. Eventually, Aang would turn his fan clubs into a group called the Air Aculides, who followed the air nomad culture, keeping their culture alive until the airbenders are brought back by Korra and the new air nation is created. The air nomads were based on Tibetan culture, Shilin monks, and Buddhism. You can see these influences in many places. First off being the clothing of the air nomads strongly resembling the clothing of Shilin monks. This seems to be the closest influence besides the fact that the Air Nomads are monks. Being that Shylon martial arts is actually the martial arts used for firebending. You can see Buddhism in the philosophies that are followed by the Air Nomads. The philosophies of Buddhism is similar to the philosophies of the Air Nomads in their non-combative ideals and vegetarianism. Now, I'm probably going to say this really wrong, so I'll put the words up on screen. Ba Ga Zing Kung Fu is the martial arts style that airbending is based upon. You can see this in the rhythmic movements used in this style. It originates from China. So that's basically the Air Nation. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in a comment. If I missed anything, feel free to leave it in a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you've learned something wonderfully new. I'll see y'all next week when we look at the water tribes. Bye! Follow the cheap path on a person, which is why they glow when Aang goes into the Gavagers. The tattoos follow the cheap path on a person, which is why they grow. No.